What is going on guys, it is me LucasE321 here today and today guys I'm going to be showing you how you can stop lagging on Grand Theft Auto 5 on the PC. So without further ado, let's get straight into this video. So guys, GTA 5 on the PC is kind of a demanding game and you've come to this video because you lagged like a fucking bitch on the game. This can be caused by many things. So let's just get straight into this. So first of all guys, so the most obvious thing you need to do is check the specs of your PC. I'm hoping that you would have checked that before you bought the goddamn game, otherwise you just basically wasted your money. If your specs suck a donkey's dick, there is nothing you can really do apart from upgrade your PC to stop the lag. And if you guys do want to check the specs of your PC, this is how to do it. You press the start button, you right click where it says computer, and you go to properties. And as you can see here, your specs will be on here. Next thing you can do, guys, to stop your PC from lagging is this. So what you need to do is press the start button and you need to right click where it says computer and you need to go to properties. And then what you're going to do is click where it says advanced system settings. You're going to click that. And then once you click that, you're going to click where it says performance and you're going to click the settings button. Once you've done this, guys, what you can do is click this button right here, which is adjust for best performance. Once you click that and you press apply, your PC is going to look like a pile of shit, but GTA 5 is going to run a lot better. Now, every time you want to play GTA 5, every time you're in a little bit of a mood to play GTA 5, what you're going to do is you're going to do this just before you go onto the game, and then you're going to notice that your game will run smoother. So next thing you need to do, guys, is ensure that you don't have too many mods installed. If you have way too many mods, your game is going to get slowed down. That is a fact. Cheer me. Hey, man. I mean, hey, Jizzle. What's up, Jimmy? Jizzle. Hey, Jim. Hey, Jizzle. Hey, Jimmy D. Jimmy. I know that for sure because my game is as slow as a bitch if I had too many mods installed. So I had to go into my GTA 5 dictionary and just delete some mods. So if there's any mods that you aren't using, it's a really good idea to delete them as that's really going to help you out with your game. And yeah, so just make sure you do that. That's actually a really important thing. And guys, this is a quick side note. If you're having to upgrade your PC, there is one fact you really need to focus on. And that is your dedicated graphics card. That is something I would recommend upgrading if you just want to upgrade your PC to improve your performance. So make sure you look into that as that is a prime factor of running GTA 5. So the next thing you can do is to adjust your graphics settings so that they're not too high. And it actually tells you how much video memory is being used up which is handy. So you can turn things down so it's not too high. You want to make sure the bar is orange or green. And if it's red you're basically going to be experiencing a lot of lag. And your game's just going to look like an absolute pretzel. So the next thing you guys can do is you can download this program called Advanced System Care. There is a link in the description down below. I am going to open up this program right now. Once you installed it, guys, it's a nice and easy program to use. It's not a virus, by the way, before you guys ask. It's not a fucking virus. So once you open the uh, program, um, it's actually quite a handy program because it can run some stuff in your PC to help it out. Uh, stuff such as registry cleaning and privacy sweeping. And basically what these things do is they corrupt your PC and give you viruses. So I would recommend you do these as it's really going to help your PC out. And uh, what you're going to want to do, by the way I am joking, you want to go to the speed up section. And you want to click where it says turbo boost and you want to turn this baby on. And once you turn this baby on, as you can see it says here that it's going to um, increase your RAM to boost your PC. And that will hopefully help your GTA 5 out a little bit. Although I can't say for sure guys how much this actually works. Because every time I turn this on I haven't really seen a huge difference. But it's definitely worth downloading anyway. One thing I just want to mention very quickly. On this program guys there is something called a driver manager or something like that. And what it claims to do is download the latest drivers for your PC. Whatever you do guys, don't fucking download this because it messes up your PC and corrupts it. So please don't do that. I just really wanted to say that. I was going to make a separate video on that. But no, I decided to mention it right here and right now. Do not download the goddamn driver manager on this. I, so I do apologise for sounding angry. But that goddamn thing messed up my PC. And it took me ages to figure out what the hell was going on. So whatever you do guys, do not touch any driver managers on this at all. And just do your drivers manually for God's sakes. 
Another thing, obviously, guys, is just really obvious tips, but you want to make sure you have um, other programs closed. So if you have programs on, such as Photoshop or After Effects, just make sure you close them before you go on to GTA 5. It's just one of those simple um, tips, but you know, some people still make that mistake and the game lags like a bitch and they wonder why. So just make sure you do that as well. So guys, if you are looking to get GTA 5 and you haven't bought it yet and you guys want to see whether your PC can handle it or not, there is this website you can actually go to and there will be a link in the description down below. It is called Can I Run It? So I'm going to type that in. Oh, piss off, Chris Brown, you prick. And as you can see, guys, this website right here, um, you go to this website and what you can actually do is you can check, you can run a scan on your PC and as you can see all you have to do is type the game in here and it will come up on here and you can search for it, click the button which says can you run it and you can check to see whether you can run the game. Thank you guys for watching this video, I hope this helped you out. Please give the video a like if this video did help you out at all because that would help me out so much. And also make sure to subscribe to my channel if you are new so you don't miss out on any of that trolling, gaming and modding content. And I will see you next time. Thank you guys for watching. Just click the annotation on screen now to check out my previous video. And don't be a donkey. Slap that subscribe button silly. And I will see you in my next video.